What is up, many guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again, back again to my bread and butter. What are you lot saying, man? Shout out to all you guys that are still subscribed, even though I've been doing quite a lot of car content videos. And I love that you guys also do, you know, um, appreciate that I love cars and you're still subscribed. And I would appreciate if some of you guys still go watch the car videos as well. As it means quite a lot to me because the more views I get, then the more uh, I'm able to convince these marketing companies for these brands to give me cars. So I'm able to drive these cars, you know, for a few days or for a couple of months. And, you know, it's just like, you know, the more views I get, the more money I get, the more you guys get money back as well. Speaking of which, guys, I'm still doing a cash giveaway as well as a skateboard deck giveaway. It's a supreme one, by the way, the day date, the day edition, sorry. So all you got to do is make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow my Instagram, which I leave down below. And when I get to 4,000 subscribers, I will choose two people. One will get £30 as the cash prize. So when you screen, when you um, subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram, make sure you screenshot that and DM it to me on my Instagram I know I've probably like mixed things over. But yes, guys, so we've got the Nocta and Nike Hot Step Air Terror, the black edition. Now, the reason why I've not been making a lot of shoe videos is because in July, it tends to be dry. They don't release as many shoes. Then in August, you know, boom, we get like quite a lot of shoes. We will be getting like a lot more shoes towards end of July. It's just like, you know, between end of June and sort of like mid July, it's always just dry every single year. It's consist consistently the same. I don't know why. But yes, guys, I'll show you what I'm looking at in a couple of seconds. Bear with. And bam, as you guys can see, that you've got the Nocta Hot Step Air Terra, which comes in black. I think this one is suitable for winter time. I like them, I think, as a shoe, which is 150. To be honest, when you spend 150, there is some ugly Nike Air Maxes that I see there. You know being sold there's a lot of ugly nike air maxes that are being sold out there so with this one i think having the nocta name as well and i think it's shape as well it's naturally not a bad shoe i can see myself like wear this with some track suits and a puffer jacket and a beanie hat you know just on a on a lazy chilled out day during winter time and just stepping out i like how it's just um under the radar it's it doesn't have any big nike you know um logos or anything it's like one of those that, you know, if you know about the shoe, you know about the shoe. So I do like that. Certain people don't like shoes that are like this, which are very understated. They like a big tick. I know a lot of us wear Jordan 1s and Dunks. You know, they always have big ticks and Air Force 1s. But sometimes you've got to go a little bit incognito and this shoe offers that, which is a good thing. So it's just all black and you've got obviously these slanted lines, which have got the little dots between them. Then you got like, you know, some shiny plastic as well. Then you've got the green bubble at the bottom and then the gray piece just on the back towards the ankle. So yes, it's a simple shoe. I like it. I think it works. For me, I'd probably say with this, I'd wear, I'd wear maybe uh, cargo pants as well, black, even gray or like even camo green does work as well. And even brown as well. If you wear some brown cargo pants, it does work with maybe like a black, park, a black parka or a parka jacket. That still does work. So £150 is going to cost for these shoes. These will not resell and make some money. Now, there's been um, a lot of problem with inflation and the goods that, that are sold in this country. So with inflation, it's knocked off like, you know, the stock market as well as the crypto market, NFTs, and also the reselling of luxury goods as well, such as cars, watches. There was a bubble before like the whole inflation rose where the markets are just bullish and the markets grew. We saw like, you know, crypto going up, stock market prices were up, house prices went up, watches were going up, cars are going up as well. So it was just like an upward trend. But now there's like a downward trend because the market's quoting itself. So even with the sneakers as well, like I've seen prices drop in sneakers. I recently sold a, a Nike Dunk Law UNC, which was over 450 pounds before the stock crashed. But after the crash, they've dipped as well. So I've lost hundred pounds. So just be aware when you buy a set of shoes, be realistic with the time that we're living right now, where, you know, it's potentially we could be going, going towards a recession. So be realistic. This shoe's not going to make you money. You buy it if you've got extra cash to just have, a, you know, a shoe that you can wear in winter time. But apart from that, I think this is not a shoe to just buy expecting any profits. 
You know, um, unless you are a personal shopper. Because if you're a personal shopper and you've got clients that might want these shoes, but they don't want to fuss, like, you know, trying to buy them in sneakers or enter raffles, then you will, you know, obviously charge extra on top for your time and your service charge. So if you're that professional personal salesman, then you can make your money. But apart from that, I think I do sort of struggle to see how you're going to make your money because not a lot of people appreciate this shoe for its aesthetics anyways. So from that angle, you know, you've got to assess and just weigh the risk out. And guys, that's me. It's been great to, you know, um, serve you guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, man. Shout out to all you guys for subscribing. And all the new car guys that are subscribed as well. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I also do like these sort of videos. I do unboxing videos of shoes, of clothing, which is hyped and, you know, just like in low supply, but high demand. So you guys also make sure you stick around because I'll be also doing some car videos as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. God bless, man. Much love. Peace.